Welcome back, this is Yamachak. We're walking through this door without being scared. We're on some Monster Ball, Gunslinger, Hell on Earth, as you do. I'm playing this game a lot less these days. Like, I'm playing it a lot more. Because uh, it's been three months, this is the third month that I've been doing this. And I don't normally play Killing Floor games for three months straight. I, I normally play them for, I don't know, a month, and then I'm like, alright, that's enough zombies. I mean, they're clones, but they're zombies, okay? Calling them clones doesn't make them not zombies. They're still zombies. Goodness gracious, I'm tilted. I don't normally play them for that long, so... I play them a lot more, like, per day, but not for that long, right? Whereas now, I'm playing them, like, every week at least a little bit and a uh, friend just got the game as well so playing it a bit with him but playing it a lot less than um, I was before so it's my excuse for being bad is this the no um, but it's fun because I'm doing other things as well wow we didn't even have enough ammo I really tilted holy cow that's real bad actually about as bad as it gets. To be completely straight up with you. Another nade. Nade never hurt nobody, you know? I mean, nades specifically hurt people. They are specifically built to hurt people, but. Look. I'm not a lawyer. You're not a lawyer. Maybe you are a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. I don't need to be all specific and stuff, okay? God, just too many of these guys. Like we don't have... I don't think we have enough bullets to finish this. That's how tilted I've been. I think we literally don't have enough bullets to kill all of the Zeds. I think we literally don't have enough bullets. That's nuts. I'm bad. Oh, we might have enough bullets. That guy was hurt pretty bad. Yeah, we're good. We're good! Alright. What's all this stuff? It's all orangey. All orangey and stuff. This is also orangey. I was talking to a friend about colors the other day. Right? Um, let's go for the deagles this time. I want to play with the deagles. I was talking to him about colors. He's a... Uh, He's a whole language nerd, right? So he knows he knows these these language nerd things, and I think they're fascinating. Uh, so you don't you know it's not something that most people think about. I don't think I don't think about it anyway. It's not something that I thought about, but it's something that that's obvious when you do, right? I mean, this is when I got my first retail job. I is when I realized that like there's there's real people who will go and put out like the price tags for stuff, right? Like obviously there has to be people who go and walk around to every single item in the store and put the price tag on it. Or like at least in the in the spot where the, the item goes, right? Like on the on the shelf or whatever to, to label it, right? Like obviously there has to be somebody who does that. It's not something that's hard to think about, but until I got my first retail job, I just never even thought about it, right? They were just there. Um, then I got my retail job, and I was like, oh yeah, like this is something that people actually have to do. Like People get paid to go in and do this, right? Goodness gracious. Um, so, it's just, it's just one of those things that people don't think about. But colors, right? Back in the day, like, you know, long time ago, at the beginning of language, really, people didn't have all of these colors. You didn't have red and blue and green and all of this, because... They just, you didn't, you, you weren't talking long enough to, to need colors for those, right? You weren't, you weren't at the point where you needed to be able to refer to that. It was more of the, the immediate necessity stuff, right? So colors didn't exist and um, they kind of like evolved. So there are, there are languages that don't have names for certain colors. Like even, even the basic colors, like a lot of languages, um, at least not necessarily now, uh, most languages now have different colors for green and blue, but a lot of languages 
before don't. So they have like a, a Gru or whatever is what they call the, the like combined blue and green because the, the they just weren't different enough to, to need it. And that's why like some things don't make sense. Like the, um, when some like uh, older uh, texts like uh, media um, is talking about colors, sometimes you're like, that doesn't make any sense. Those aren't the same color, but they were in the language. So it's just, uh, oh my, we're going to die, aren't we? So that's just kind of cool to, to think about, like, yeah, they wouldn't have had names for those things. And there's so many other things, too, that you, know, you just obviously wouldn't have a name for because, like, languages had to start somewhere, right? At a certain point, there was no language. People didn't talk, right? And at some point, people were like, hey, I can make noises. How about some of these noises be meaningful? And I don't know how it all originally came. I'll have to ask him. I'm gonna have to ask him that later. That's 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 piqued my interest now. <laughs> um, but like at a certain point, people had to start talking about it, right? Or talking, rather, in general. I need ammo. Is what I'm looking for right now. Cause we got, I think, uh, yeah, we got a few things that I don't really want to deal with with just a nine mil. Like a siren, for instance, and a gorfiend. And a nine mil is fine, but I want to actually have bullets for it. I don't want to bash him, right? Just do that. Maybe it'll do a little bit of damage. I don't know if it does damage or whatever, but where's the ammo crates, yo? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You weaved it. Oh no. He weaved it! The absolute madman! Goodness. Alright, we can kill them with the traps, which is what we're gonna have to do, basically, because... I can't find ammo anywhere. Anyway, like, at a certain point, they needed names for colors, and so they made it, and some languages developed different... I mean... But the other thing is, is they all develop like the same colors. Like the, there's a there's a specific path. Like you get light and dark, right? And then you get, I think red is the next one or something like that. Where you have like white, black, and red or something. I don't know exactly. Um, but like there's an order to it and everything follows the same just because I guess the prevalence of those colors in nature and, and how they need to be used. And uh, yeah. Just kind of, just kind of interesting to think about how, like, at a certain point, language was not the same. I mean, for for a lot of points, um, language was not the same as it is today. Come on, bring it! I'm gonna burn you guys. So I think it's fascinating. I get fascinated by the the simplest of stuff. Anyway, I mean, that I think that's really cool. I don't think that's a simple thing, but. Um, I do get fascinated by very simple things as well. I'm very easy to fascinate. <laughs> uh, okay, you know what? Get stabbed. Now, don't miss my shots, like, every single shot this time. I want to have bullets. Uh, yeah. I don't know, I'm easily... I'm easily amused. I think that's a good thing, though. I'd rather be easily amused than, like, not easily amused. You know? I feel like it. I mean, I enjoy it, talking to people about things that they're passionate about, because I'm easily fascinated by anything that's interesting. And uh, I feel like other people are also happy to talk about the things that they're passionate about, because they're passionate about it and they want to talk about it, because that's usually how it works. So I'm like, you know what, it's just a win-win for everybody. I'm easily amused, you get to talk about the things you like, and we're all good to go. Everybody's happy, you know? Nobody loses here. And that's, uh, that's, that's just, that's nice for me. I think, anyway. Hey, it's nice, oh my god, what's happening here? It's nice, uh, a thing to, to, to say, anyway. Because people like talking about things they're passionate about, right? And I think it's, uh... 
super fun to talk about things that people are passionate about. So, oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting a flesh pound there. I didn't hear him spawn. I wasn't paying attention at all. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess uh, he gets fascinated. And he, uh, this language guy, he, he, he's, he's super passionate about language and he talks about language all the time. And I'm always, I'm always so interested because, uh, it's weird because it can be things that I'm not interested in. Because, like, language on its own doesn't interest me that much. Like, I'm, I'm, I find it fascinating how, uh, like, language develops and stuff. Like, that's, that's super cool, but, like, I'd, I'd probably never care to learn about, like, um, what's the word? Uh, like, what, what, what an agglutinate of language is, right? Like, I'd, 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 I'd never care to learn about that, but I, I, I've learned about it, and I was very interested in it when we were talking about it because he was super passionate about explaining it and I was like yeah it's pretty cool um, so I don't know oh hello I was I didn't even think she was there I was just trying to get rid of the poops so yeah um, it's uh, it can be things that I'm not even interested in but somebody's passionate about it and I'm like wow this is the most interesting thing in the world and then they get to talk about it, and I get to learn something, and that's just fun. Super fun. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.